Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2023 video tutorial. This is the follow-up to the last one. So now I did that 2D section view with the classic parameters. Let's take a look. So it works exactly the same way as the parametric version. And I've got also that lookup table and can switch between those combinations of dimensions. So, let's have fun with AutoCAD. Now, in order to save some time, I will bring in the layers and the dimension style, which I defined for the last video from that drawing. And I will use the design center. So let's go to open drawings. That's OK. And I've got that section view drawing. I can go to the layers. I can select the layers I want without this one. And then just move them pet drag and drop into your drawing. Same for the dim styles. That was the section style. Just drag it over here and drop it. Which means now I have those layers and I will have that dimension style as well. Okay, I will start with a rectangle. So let's go for rectangle. And I wanted to place it 0, 0. And it might be 100 wide and I want to go for minus 50. Now let's add a hatch. So go to home, go to hatches, make the hatch layer the one which should be used. And let's go for maybe concrete and you would have to scale it a little bit in order to make it work. So maybe like that and confirm. Let's copy this one. So go for copy, right click, select the base point like this again and the fourth one. Now I can change those three hedges because I need a different scaling. Let's go for this one and maybe let's add maybe clay. It doesn't really matter. Then change this one to maybe what do we have here? I want to use gravel later, but it doesn't really matter. Let's go for this one here. And the last one maybe would be gravel. like that. Let's create a block. So go for insert, create block, call this one section view. Pick point, base point should be this one. Select the objects, right click and go into the block editor and now I have to add the parameters. Now I want to add linear parameters. You can do it from that palette or you could go over here. There's a small difference. Let's do the first one here. So that parameter should go from 
this point to that point, you could also put them over here, it doesn't really matter. So let's go from this point to that point, place it here, and you see you've got two grips. So in order to make it just one, select it, go for the properties and switch it to one parameter. If it do it from here, you will be asked how many grips you want, like that, and see, you will be asked, let's go for one, repeat that one, go for linear, from this point here to that point down below, like that, again one grip, and another one from this point to that point, and place it over here. Again, one grip. Now I have to add the actions. And that would be a stretch. I will begin here and work my way up. So let's go for stretch. I want to use this parameter. And of course you can rename those parameters, like layer 1, layer 2, layer 3, layer 4. Okay, let's select distance 4. That would be the grip. And that would be the first frame for the objects which should be stretched. And select it like that and confirm. Let's test this one. Select it. There should be that grip, yes. And it works. Great. Close the test block and save the block. Now another stretch action. This time it's that parameter here. That would be the grip. What should be stretched? This should be the stretching frame. And these are the objects. Again test it, select it, works, great. Close test block and save that block. Another stretch, now with this parameter, that grip here, select it like this and inside that frame like that, confirm, again test, Now we've got three grips and all of them work great. Close the test block, again save it. Now the last stretch would be this parameter, that would be the grip. Make it like this and inside that one select the objects, right click and again test it. So now we've got four grips and all of them work like a charm. And finally, I want to add the lookup table. But maybe first rename those parameters. Let's go for, where is it, layer 1. That would be layer 2. This would be layer 3. And that would be layer 4. Make sure only one is selected. So go here, go for layer 4. Now, before I do the lookup table, I will add the dimensions. I want to do it with annotations. And that's the style, which I defined in the other video. So, let's go for linear. From this point to that point, put it over here. 
repeat from this point to that point over there repeat from this point to that point and the last one from this one to that one and one on top from this point to that point and of course those dimensions should be select similar all on the dimensions layer which I should have selected here like that but again doesn't really matter let's check it out go for a test block but this should work properly and I forgot to add the linear parameter up there so let's go back save it and add a linear parameter up here from this point to that point let's call this one width and add a stretch action so that would be the parameter this will be the point and I want to stretch it like that and of course this parameter should have only one grip now let's test this but it should work yeah it does close test block and save it now for the lookup table that would be this parameter it's the same as this one so go for lookup place it maybe here and now add the action that would be lookup select the parameter that would be this one and now go for add properties and I want to add all those parameters maybe do it like that and then add the other ones enlarge that window so in this case I want to start with 100 50 50 50 and 50 and that would be 100 slash 50 slash 50 slash 50 slash 50 add another one maybe 100 40 40 20 50 so that would be 100 slash 40 slash 40 slash 20 slash 50 and a third one let's go for 120 60 50 40 20 and make this one 120 slash 60 slash 50 slash 40 slash 20 yeah there is a small mistake I've that should be a slash no that's okay and confirm now go for test block select it all the grips are here and there's the table so you can switch them all together 
to different values. Save that block. Close the block editor. And then you can insert it. Maybe while the block table. Where is the block table? Go for view. Go for the block table, for example. Like this. And on the table should be. You could anchor it on the left side. Should be in the current drawing that section view. Just play it, sit wherever you want. You've got the grips and you've got that lookup table. And I'm done. So enjoy this one. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help the channel out. So thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.